Hi guys, my name is Mark. Some guys of you may know me as the mousepad maniac from Germany, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm basically the best friend you can have in the mousepad scene. That's why I show you my newest mousepad in this video. Let's go. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you are new to the channel, new to the video or in general to the uh, terms or themes of mouse pets, um, my name is Mark, as I told you already, some people call me the way, other people call me daddy. Um, but in general, I'm a designer of a lot of products and um, I designed a new mouse pad or I bought in a new surface on a film I've already done on my first mouse pad. My first mouse pad was Valhaut. Um, I think it's pretty much known already. Um, there's also White Valhaut, it's called Beluga. It's a very special name, I know, but um, it's very famous. It's known as a very high tier, high quality pad from a German company, from La Onda. And I helped them basically to design the pad, to create it, to um, produce it and to sell it. And now we just, or well, I just helped them to make the next pad, which is the next pad. It's called Smooth Criminal. I have two prototypes of it here, as you can see in black and in white, in black and in white. Basically with the wrong logo, the logo from the prototype still says Valhaut, but when you can buy the pet in roughly 40 days after this video, and yes, you will be able to buy it as, as little, or no, on Lethal Game Gear in the USA, and maybe also on Dr. Mouse in Brazil, but I don't know if you order some, but we briefly talked about it already. So you will be able to buy this pet in NA. Lethal will have stock on the same day as we will have stock. So we also will have the same prices. Prices will look fairly high for you in um, North America, but these are the prices we need to do because the quality is very high. We will have a very new packaging. We will have a new standard size, which I'm talking in a second. And we basically have the only, yeah, the only surface or the only two color schemes or variants of this art of fabric available in the world. So it's, you would say it's not something special, but I can tell you or will explain you how special it is. So back in the days, as I released Valhout, like um, in January this year, we, we done our first sale, which was uh, very quick and the pets sell very fast. Also on the second drops, pets uh, sold very fast. Beluga pet was sold out in like 14 minutes. We just decided after a lot of people reached out to me, also Counter-Strike and Valorant professionals, who had said, hey Mark, um, we saw Valhout is a very good pet, we tried it, but it's too fast. Control is not enough. Can you make a slower pet? And I was really like about, uh, I also had the, the offer to make something equal to the Saturn pet, like Lethal is doing already. And my partner and I, we talked about it and we say, ah, there's no way or no need for making another Saturn. It's cause the Saturn pet is really good. The pro, we already knew like six months ahead that the pro variant is coming. And we, we said, ah, why should we do it? Makes no sense. There's the Saturn, it's awesome pet. And people buy it because they know it's awesome. Why should we do another Saturn? Makes no sense. So we just waited and waited and waited and I tried to make some other pets in this in a spare time. But um, at one point we just talked with one of our manufacturers and they said, hey, we have this in the surface. And yeah, I just said, sent me a sample. These are the samples of the surface of the fabric um, with our form. So it's our um, softness of the pet. It's like Valhaut, it's like soft, not like a X soft. So it's a little bit harder than Xsoft. We just, um, they just sent it as the white and the black version. The black version is dyed. It's not sublimated. Um, it's a little bit different than you know it. The white version is basically the, yeah, the original fabric without any um, treatment, without dyeing, without heat transfer, whatever. It's just white and we have improved the stitching on the white version. For example, compared to the Beluga. If you have a Beluga, you know the stitching is not comparable with the black one, but now stitching on the white and the black are completely the same. They only have different colors. So we already hired the standard for the stitching. 
it's still super soft, it's very slim. There's basically no way you can, you will have problems with the stitching. It's still very even, it's very long lasting and it's ultra high quality. So stitching is top notch, one of the best stitchings in the market, whilst the fabric is extremely unique. Also, you may saw already the pad looks kind of big. Why looks the pad big? What happens? Is the whale just small? Yes, I am small, but the pad is big too. I show you what. That's what I'm talking about. Down here we have a 50 by 50 Walhaut and behind you see my new gold standard for tactical shooter pads. It's 600 by 500. It may doesn't look much, but if I put Walhaut in the mid, you see it's five centimeters on every side. And one thing I can assure you is You will never have problems with reaching the outer, the outer stitching. Even if you have your full arm, underarm, forearm on the pad and you do this. You will not reach the stitching. And with the 50 pad you had often people had a problem on a really long flick or immediate flick. They just passed the edge a little bit, like only one centimeter or two. But they went off, so they lost the flick or the fight, the battle, the clutch, whatever. And I want to make sure that people who are playing competitive, on a competitive edge, or are very, how can I say, ambitious in any game they play, or in any aim trader, have the right choice and the right size to perform at the maximum, at the maximum level they want. And this pad will assure you to do this with the size of 60 by 500 by 4 millimeter. Also, this pad is unique in terms of the glide and the stop, uh, stop point or stopping power. Um, one thing at first, if you play glass skates, Smooth Criminal will be extremely slow for you on glass skates. If you play PTFE skates, Smooth Criminal will be good it's the best option, in my opinion, to play Smooth Criminal with PTFE skates. If you play Saphir skates, Smooth Criminal is faster than on glass and on PTFE, but has still a very good stopping point. So, which are the skates or the glides I would say are the best? I would say PTFE. A good PTFE, maybe a Venza BTL PTFE skate, is the best choice, or the new Arc 2s. New Arc 2s, which are basically not released, I only saw one set of it already. Or like the Hotline Games 3.0 Plus, the new pros. But glass skates, I don't know. I don't think it's the right surface for glass skates. Or you test it and you really like the slowness, then it is the right surface for you. Nevertheless, you will have an insane stopping point on this pad. As you can see, the glide is really smooth also. It is smooth when you are when you move in very slow. So the initial friction is very low, but the stop point is like you force them. You, it's, I can't explain. I played Chatterline with it, and it was like the, 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 the stop point was like you are sticking. And it's super, super, uh, super rare. It's a very rare feeling. So you have a very good glide, the flick is very consistent, very linear, but the stop point is really like Bam, it's there. And on the white, it's really extreme in my opinion. I played it with the Saphir skates, it's really extreme, the stop point. And on the black, it's more like a, a good combination of a little bit more, more speed and a not so super sticky um, stop point. So if you still need a control pad, but also would like to play Apex or Warzone or other games like Shatterline with your uh, Smooth Criminal, you may or you should choose the black one because I can tell you the white one will get too slow. And if the pad breaks, guys, so if the, the, the point of the surface break is in, it gets even a little bit slower, okay? Just keep this in mind when you buy the pad. Um, but in general, I can say a very unique surface, a very unique feeling. Um, it's cross-woven. It's super nice to play. And I'm glad I can bring this pet to you. And that's basically all I have to say. Upcoming pets, 
Uh, I mentioned already in the German review, but I will not mention here in the English review. There are more pets upcoming, but I don't know um, if Liesel will stock them all and if other uh, reseller we are already talking to will also stock them. But I will keep you posted as soon as the new pets are in. I can tell you there are some good pets planned. There will be a Valhout on Purun, which will be super rare because uh, we may only produce it every half year one time and only in a limited amount of pieces. So as you see this, be, yeah, try to be the first one to get one because I can't tell you how much or how many we will stock and how many will be available, for example, in North America. But for now, I have to say thank you for watching this video so long for the long term. I hope you will enjoy Smooth Criminal roughly 40 days after the release of the video. And I also hope you enjoyed every other video you watch from me. If not, please tell me down in the comments below and see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.